Hello, dear listeners. Today, our topic is weather changes. Join Olivia, Daniel, and Emma as they discuss the fascinating world of weather using simple English. This discussion is crafted for English learners, focusing on clear explanations of words and phrases. For a detailed list of vocabulary used, please refer to the description. Hello, Daniel and Emma. Have you noticed how the weather has been shifting lately? Hi. Olivia, yes, I have. Shifting means changing. The weather can change from sunny to rainy very quickly. Hi, both. It's true. These shifts or changes can be surprising, like when you leave home and it's sunny, but then it starts to rain. Exactly, Emma. And these changes can happen because of the climate, which is the usual weather in a place over a long time. That's right. And sometimes we have extreme weather. This means very strong weather, like a big storm or a very hot day. Oh, and we must talk about humidity. Humidity is the amount of water in the air. When it's high, it feels very wet and sticky. I find that humidity makes hot days feel even hotter. It's like the air is heavy with water. And on the topic of hot, let's not forget heat waves. A heat wave is a period of unusually hot weather that can last for days or even weeks. Yes, and during a heat wave, it's important to drink lots of water to stay hydrated. Being hydrated means having enough water in your body. In contrast, we also experience cold snaps. A cold snap is a short period of very cold weather. True, Olivia. And in some places, people might see frost. Which is the thin layer of ice that forms when the temperature drops below freezing. Speaking of freezing, snow is something many people look forward to in winter. Snow is the soft white flakes that fall from the sky when it's very cold. Snow can be fun, but it also means we need to wear layers. Layers are multiple pieces of clothing worn on top of each other to stay warm. Absolutely, and let's not forget about wind. Wind is the air that moves quickly outside. It can be gentle or very strong. Strong winds can lead to gales, which are very powerful and can cause damage. That's why listening to the weather forecast is so important. It helps us prepare for what's coming. For example, if the forecast says it will be windy, which means a lot of air moving outside, we might need to secure things that could blow away. You're right, Olivia. And if the forecast predicts rain, we know to bring our raincoats and boots to keep dry. Raincoats are waterproof jackets, and boots are special shoes that keep our feet dry. Exactly. And in some places, people need to be ready for hurricanes or typhoons. These are very strong storms with lots of wind and rain. They can be dangerous, so it's important to have a safety plan. Speaking of safety, thunderstorms can also be a concern. Thunderstorms are storms with thunder and lightning. Thunder is the loud sound that comes after lightning, which is a bright flash of light in the sky. And after thunderstorms, we sometimes get rainbows. Rainbows are colorful arcs in the sky caused by sunlight shining through raindrops. They're beautiful and always bring a smile to my face. Oh, I love rainbows. They remind us that after the rain, there is something beautiful waiting. It's like a metaphor for life. A metaphor is when we say something is something else to make a picture in our minds. That's a lovely thought, Emma. Weather really does affect our moods and activities. When it's sunny, which means the sun is shining, I feel happy and energetic. Me too, Olivia. And when it's sunny, we can do outdoor activities like picnics. A picnic is when you take food and eat it outside, usually on a blanket on the ground. But when it's foggy and there's a lot of mist or light cloud close to the ground, it can feel mysterious. Fog makes it harder to see far, so we have to be careful when we drive. True, and mist is like a lighter version of fog. It can give the morning a magical feeling. I love taking walks in the mist. Weather also brings seasonal changes. In fall, also known as autumn, the leaves change color and fall off the trees. It's a time for harvest, which means collecting crops from the fields. And then comes winter, when it gets very cold 
and we might see snow and ice. Winter is a time for warm fires and hot drinks. Don't forget spring, when everything comes back to life. Flowers bloom, and the days start to get longer and warmer. And finally, summer, the warmest season. It's perfect for swimming and enjoying the long days. Each season has its own beauty and challenges. But no matter the weather, we can find ways to enjoy it. Absolutely, Emma. And learning English helps us share our experiences with people from all over the world. So, let's keep an eye on the weather forecast, enjoy the changes, and stay safe. And remember, whether it's sunny or rainy, every day is a chance to learn something new. Thank you all for joining us in this conversation about weather changes. We hope you've learned some new English words and phrases. Goodbye for now, and we look forward to our next chat about the wonders of the world. Bye, everyone. Keep practicing your English, and see you next time.